how to use if and a function in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this function explain video series, I'm going to explain how you can use the if and a function in Excel. What are the parameters and why you should use it. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> if na function actually handles this type of error you can see here not applicable this type of error can be handled by if na function most of the time this type of error arises whenever you use vlookup hlookup match or this kind of lookup function and a value cannot be found inside your lookup table then this type of error happens another reason for this type of error is that you have created a formula let's say i have written some formula here but the data range I have selected has the NA error and it will automatically let you to the NA error. If a cell inside your formula has NA error, the whole formula will get the NA error. Now, I have used VLOOKUP here, okay? And I haven't given any ID number here. That's why it's getting the NA error. Also, in the second function I used here, SUM, and I want to add all the prices here. But as you can see, it has NA error. Ultimately, the SUM function will give me NA error. If I write ID here, let's say 101, the NA NA error removed but the sum function isn't working because it has NA error inside it. So it doesn't matter how many valid ID you press here until all of them has value sum function on to work. So it's better if I use the if NA function here and how you can use it. If I click here, I have already written a VLOOKUP. If you want to learn about VLOOKUP, please check this video. So at the starting of your function, write if and here you can see if NA and the first parameter is the value and I want to keep the VLOOKUP as the value that's why I want to press comma and if it finds the value if na or if it finds the na error I want it to return zero okay and close parenthesis and if I press enter the error has been removed okay now if I drag it and you can see our sum function doesn't have that error either so if I add one value here all this function are working okay so this is how you can use if na function let me show you the parameters here if I click here if and you can see if na and the tooltip says returns the value you specify if the expression resolves to na otherwise return the result of the expression okay it has only two parameter the first part is value that is our function or VLOOKUP, whatever function you are using and you want to check if it has any error inside it, you can write that function here and if you press comma, what you want to display if it has found the error, okay? So this is what I wanted to show you. Thank you, thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe.